hello beautiful people i am so excited and happy to be coming your way as i usually do every thursday evening wow we are in the last part of the year december is a beautiful month i love december because of christmas and jesus is the reason for the season anyways if you know that you have not subscribed to my youtube channel yet please Post, subscribe now and ensure that you tap on the notification bell so you can get notification as soon as i upload a video how was last week's video i hope that you enjoyed it today we're going to discuss how you can support your partner as a new wife how do you support your partner's goal i mean whether you like it or not, it is one of your core responsibility to support your partner now that you are his wife and you're building a future together. And supporting your partner involves little things that will help the both of you. Mind you, as you are doing your own part, your partner is also doing his own part. No normal human being in their right senses will see that their partner is doing everything to support them and they would not in turn support their partner as as well i have not been married for so long so i've been sharing some of my experiences with you and these are some of the things i think you can do to support your partner as a new wife first you have an open communication sit down with your partner discuss with them know their goal know their mission know what it is that they will need from you as a way of support communication is one of the key ingredients in any relationship so discuss with your partner ask them openly don't think you know women would like to think a lot about oh i can do this i'll do this i'll do it this way maybe the way you are thinking of doing it is not the way he wants it so i advise that you have an open communication ask him darling honey how can i support you what do I do to make you feel that you are being supported? And I'm pretty sure it's going to let you know some of the things that um, you can do to support. The second thing is shared vision. You know, you are two individuals who have come together. For all you know, you are from two different parts of the world, two different professions. But now you have come together as a family. What is your shared vision? I remember I once asked my husband, what is the vision of this family you should be able to ask your partner what his vision are and look at how you can align both your visions so that you now have a shared goal personally i believe that god has a purpose for creating each and every one of us we both have our different purposes but if you come together god also has a way of helping the both of you to align your vision so that at the end of the day you have a shared vision so discuss that and after discussing it make sure you are aligning your goal to that of your partner so that um that is your way of supporting their goals as well the other thing i like to share with you is encouragement everybody loves to be encouraged so as a new wife you want to encourage your husband all of the time encourage him when he's going to work you know money fans like we say you might look out balance i mean let him know that you are his number one supporter whatever he's doing as he's going to work you know let him know that he has great mind let him know that you believe in him that his ideas that he's going to share with his colleagues and at this place of work are worth sharing that he should go ahead and share them encourage him and i'm pretty sure that this will make your husband feel that you are supporting his goal the next thing is active participation for instance if your husband is, is into sales or marketing one of the ways you can support him actively is by sharing some of his links on your social media handles don't act like he's, he's doing his business let him share his own on his status and let me share my own to know you must actively and consciously participate 
in his goals whatever it is that he is doing share it is your partner for life my husband preaches i share some of his messages on my social media handles because i want to i want to and i feel it's a way of actively participating in his goals because i know his goals i know the things that he loves to do so i do so so whatever it is that you have realized that your husband loves to do actively participate in it even if it means taking out time to go join him help him out on the field if it's in the farm or presence there can be a very good one and it can help any man know that you are actively in love with them and you are supporting their goals all right so the next point which i'm going to combine together with the other one i want to talk about is time management and problem solving time management and problem solving if you happen to be the first person to get home before your husband gets home and um, you might want to do a lot of things that would help them help them arrange their closet so by the time they come back they are not wanting to do that um if you know that they are going to eat you know quickly make a meal for them that way you're saving time and by the time your husband comes back or your partner comes back they might use the time to do other things and problem solving help them solve problems how do you do this working together with your husband to solve issues or challenges that he has or that you both have you know you could um come up with the idea of having a specific time where you both sit together to deliberate on matters or challenges that you both have in your different fields of work all together as a couple and then ensure that you both are able to solve them together you shouldn't be that kind of wife that as soon as there's a problem in the house you're running out to go tell your parents your pastors or whoever your husband respect um and sometimes professionally you could even help your husband in his career for example i did journalism and english and my husband is into it software and those things i used to think that there's no way i'm going to help him but sometimes when i ask him or i do see some of the things he's going to i use my my literal mind i might not be able to help him 100 percent, but you know i do say something that hopefully by god's grace sometimes is able to help you know judging from my english um background or sometimes i go ahead and google it and i believe that um whatever it is that your partner is doing if you have that mindset already and you discuss and sit with them you can solve any problem or challenges that you both have Another way you can support your partner's goal is to provide emotional support. Be there for your partner emotionally. In their times of setback and in their times of successes, be there for them emotionally. And while being there for them emotionally, make sure you're also celebrating their milestones. Your husband is the, you know, best worker for the month in his place of work. And then his picture is there. If you get that picture, post it. Make them feel that you love them. Make them feel that whatever it is that you're doing, their little successes celebrate it however you deem fit or necessary respecting your partner's independence and autonomy in supporting their goals is very vital allow them to be when they want to be respect them and when you're making decisions that pertains to their goal don't make the decision on your own and by yourself involve them in the decision that involves their own goal by doing so i believe that you'll be supporting your partner immensely like i always say after every of my video i am not an expert in this field these are my experiences and things that i think would help you but ultimately i believe that god who is the altar of marriage can help anyone once you tend to him so if some of these tips are unable to help or you still don't know how to support your partner after going through this video please say a prayer tell god to help you and i believe that he's going to help you do not forget to subscribe to my channel as i have exciting topics coming make sure you subscribe and share this video you know i love you so much and i want the best for you today i'm going to leave you with this scripture Proverbs chapter 3 verse 6. Acknowledge him in all your ways and he will make your path straight. Do have a beautiful week.